Alrighty then. Uh, this is kind of a review and about a build I just did. I didn't film the build itself. Um, it's not really, uh, I guess, important. Uh, what this are, what this is, is a view meter, a VU meter that you would use to hook up to a stereo um, with a couple of analog gauges here and um, I will put in the video and subtitles or whatever uh, where, where I got the stuff and how much it was um, so we'll start with this case I, I bought one and off the top of my head I don't remember where um, and I had to paint it because it was this really weird purplish gray color um, so the next thing is uh, I bought the uh, VU meter kit which it consists of these two meters this circuit board and the wiring that you see um, came with red, blue, yellow, red, black, yellow, and blue wire. Um, you have to supply everything else. <coughs> and uh, it requires, and this was a confusing part because it, depending on where you saw these, these, you can get these off of eBay. There's like three different versions of it. Um, and you can get them off Banggood and it says some of them say 12 volts some of them say 10 to 15 volts um, but I just decided to give it 12 volts so I built the power supply um, instead of buying a small 12 volt power supply I, I have a bunch of these little transformers I bought the uh, two of them for a special project that I never went through with and then I have poles from other equipment and I put this one in here because it's small but I actually had others that would easily have fit in here uh, the transformer is rated at 1 amp and I'm guessing uh, I, I don't remember the specs but uh, I believe that's for the output from both taps. This is a 6.3 volt center tap so the output at 117 volts in is supposed to be 12.6 uh, volts out and when you run that through a bridge rectifier you get about 17 volts um, so what I did was I, I have AC coming in here I have the AC lower AC voltage coming out that I have going into this bridge rectifier which is a pole from something I don't remember what I, gra I, I used it because it had really long leads and um, I could mount it directly to this voltage regulator so we have AC coming in to the bridge rectifier and then the DC is going out to this buck converter voltage regulator. I chose it because uh, I have regular voltage regulators but going down from 17 volts down to 12 volts is going to uh, use, or it's going to dissipate a lot of heat and so I chose this because it doesn't get as hot or anywhere near as hot. Uh, there's a 3300 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic capacitor that's just soldered onto the legs, the DC output side, um, and then the once I got it connected, I hooked up a multimeter to it and adjusted the this little potentiometer till I got exactly 12 volts. 12 volts comes over to the uh, the voltage input on this board. 
and then I mounted two RCA connectors on the back. They are common grounded to, and they come over here, and it's, it might be considered backwards, but this is the left one, this is the right, and uh, I have labels. I have a little 3 amp on off switch, and the world's thinnest power cable. Um, the uh, plug has a rating on it that unfortunately is partially removed and it either says 6 amps or 5 amps it's, I'm not really sure I'm gonna go with 5 because this is such thin wire I highly doubt that it could do 6 amps uh, so and I'll probably put a uh, I have a, an, a picture from one of the different uh, kits you can buy. I couldn't get one for this one on how you wire this, these connectors to here. Um, basically, you have four connectors in two groups. They're labeled left and right. And the two outside connectors are for the light bulb which is an incandescent light bulb. I'm not sure what it's rated at, but based on how bright it is, it's probably could be close to 15 volts. Um, 12 volts gives it a nice warm glow. Uh, polarity doesn't really matter since it's an incandescent light. And then uh, these are marked. There's a plus sign on this side and nothing on this side, so the uh, actual meter connector matches the plus and minus in here. So left goes to here, right goes to here. Um, this case came with some crappy plastic feet and I have replaced them with uh, some rubber feet that I pulled from something else so this wouldn't slide as, as much. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll set this up so that it, uh, I will play some music through it on my phone. You won't hear the music, it's not necessary anyways, just want to see the, uh, um, the meters work. Oh, and as best I can understand, the voltage that you're supposed to, this is only rated for line-in voltage. So I think it's like a maximum of two volts RMS. Um, anything else will probably damage it. So it's not like a you can't hook this up to a full-blown amplifier. I think it'll blow out the, the circuit, um, which made it difficult for me to hook it up to my stereo because I have an old tube amp. And so what I did is I hooked it up to the I, put a, I built a splitter and hooked it up to the output of my HD radio and then one part of the output from the HD radio goes to a splitter so that the left channel and the, goes to here and then to my stereo and then the right channel goes to another splitter to here and then to the stereo. Um, I'm going to put this together. Okay, <clears throat> so um, here it is back together. Oh, one other thing. Uh, I found these really nifty uh, so PCB, PC board supports that you basically build a, build, drill a 5 millimeter hole through something and you just push them through. Um, they work really well. I didn't have to mess with nuts and bolts or screws or anything. Uh, the only screws I used were the ones that actually hold the transformer in place. So, anyways, so turn this on and we will turn off this light so you can see the I guess you can possibly see it. Yeah. 
and so so here's So, anyways, so that's it. Uh, it works pretty good. Um, like these uh, VU meters are a lot smaller than I was expecting. Uh, apparently, you can use your own meters. You can actually order the circuit board without these. Um, if you do that, there's a couple of pots on the uh, circuit board that you have to adjust, but they come from the factory supposedly adjusted for these meters. And uh, that's it.